posted. Hello, hello, hello. You guys get your water today? Because I'm getting mine. My water intake. Hello, friends. Everyone have a wonderful lunch. I had some ramen noodles. I need to go to the store, but I don't know if I want to. <laughs> I need more food. I will do a Zoom meeting tomorrow, babe. Been outside all morning and it's starting to get toasty out. But to uh, put my hair back. You had noodles? Noodles are fantastic. Okay. Let me wait a few minutes until everybody is able to get on here. Hi, Fatima. Uh, yeah, it is getting really toasty out. Okay. Hope math went well today. Hi, Miss April. Yeah, hope math went well for you all today. Um, I emailed a lot of you, um, those who didn't get their math done, just to send you a reminder to get your math assignment done. Uh, so don't forget to do that. Also, looking at the exit ticket for holes, only six of you have submitted it. So Anthony, Fatima, Jamie, Angel, David, and Stephanie, you six are good to go. Um, that was from today's exit ticket. Yesterday's exit ticket for holes, um, Adrian, Anthony, Dave, DJ, Angel, Jordan, Jamie, Fatima, David and Stephanie, you got yours turned in from yesterday. So that was chapter 12 of Holes for Exit Tickets. So nicely done, the 10 of you. And then Mondays, this was Holes chapter 11 Exit Ticket. So Adrian, Byron, Dave, DJ, Angel, Jordan, Jamie, Fatima, Nurcell, David and Stephanie, you 11 are good to go. So if I did not call your name, you... Uh, need to go back and read those chapters and get those exit tickets completed on Google Classroom, okay? Okay, well, good morning, Dave. I feel like I haven't seen you in a little while. Hello, DJ. Hello, hello. So um, I want to share something cool, like pretty cool with you all. So during the math lesson, um, it's kind of cool because like all of it's online. So I'm still getting used to that. And so are all of you. Um, so um, what I'm able to do is kind of uh, go through each of your slides and I can make individual comments. I can make um, any marks on your paper. So anything like that. So that's what I love about it. Um, I need everyone to go and check their emails right now, please. Hi, Miss Kira. Hi, Jordan. So everybody go to google.com and then at the top right, it should say Gmail. So click that, check your mail. Um, I would say check your mail three times a day, okay? Three to four times a day, twice in the morning, twice in the afternoon, the more the better. Because if I do email you with any information, um, you need to check it right away, okay? Hi, Adrian. So everybody go and check your email. So you're gonna go to google.com and then go to Gmail at the top right um, and find it from there. Hi, Brandon. Okay, so like I said, um, not all of you completed your exit tickets from Hulse. Um, So please go back and do that for today. And then your lesson for today, I emailed you if you did not get your math completed. Um, so please make sure that you are doing that. Okay, use your time wisely. Um, out of curiosity, type Zern in the chat if you have been on Zern this week at all. Z-E-A-R-N. Type in Zern in the chat if you have been on Zern this week. Also, you might hear um, some sirens. I live right by a hospital. 
um, right by a St. Luke's hospital. So I hear these sirens all the time. And somebody, I live right by a dumpster too. So people are coming by to drop off their trash. So Dave, you've been on Zern, nice. Okay. Um, yeah, if you haven't been on Zern, that's like a daily thing that you all need to do as well. Okay, like during some free time or catch up time, um, you need to get on to Zern, especially if you're struggling in math. Okay, if you're feeling pretty good in math, Zern is like something extra for you to do. Um, but if you're struggling in math with decimals right now, um, it is a short unit. I'm not going to lie. We're about to wrap up decimals here pretty soon. So if you're still feeling stuck on it, um, you must get on Zern daily. I would say at least 20 minutes a day. Okay. Prodigy is cool, is nice, it's extra. However, Prodigy does not align with Eureka. It does not align with what we're doing in class currently. Um, so Prodigy is kind of like a last resort, something to do during your free time. I would much rather you get onto Zern um, since it does align with decimals, aligns with what we're doing uh, currently in math. So you must get on Zern at least 20 minutes daily. That goes for everybody, okay? Um, I know... Veronica, I know that we, you know, it's hard not being in the classroom. It's hard not having, you know, um, everybody in the classroom with you, not having me right there with you. Um, so, yeah, getting distracted um, can be an easy thing. Um, so my goal for you all is maybe you can, like, create a checklist, like, on a piece of paper at home and um, check off, like, okay, math. Check that off. I did math today. Okay. Okay. Well, ELA, check that off. I did the whole chapter in the exit ticket. Okay. Um, dear time. If I did 15 minutes of reading by myself, check that off. Okay. Everybody is required to do dear. Um, even though I don't have like a little reading log, I was thinking about putting one up starting next week, um, possibly. So if you don't have a book at home, you do have my on it. And I have all of your account information. Um, if you don't remember um, your username or password for anything, email me or ask me um, and I can send it to you right away. Okay. But like I said, you need to read at least 15 minutes every day, whether it's a physical book that you have at home or whether it is on my on. Okay. Just 15 minutes. That's all I ask for. If you want to read more, by all means, go ahead. But you are required to read at least 15 minutes a day. Okay. Um, dear time is from um, 11.45 till 12. I even put that in our Google Calendar. Um, so it should notify you whenever dear time starts. Um, if it doesn't, um, you are responsible for yourself into getting those tasks completed, okay? Um, so I might even create kind of like a checklist, maybe a picture of one um, and like post it onto Google Classroom. So you all can look at that checklist and think of um, what you need to accomplish in the day and mentally check it off or physically, if you want to check it off, you can. Um, but I think that would be a really good idea to keep, keep you all um, held accountable. Okay. All right. So for today, for writing, go ahead and open up your PowerPoints, the research slides over the coronavirus. Let me tell you, I have been FaceTiming a lot of my friends, a lot of family members um, on Zoom and even on my phone. And I have been showing off your presentation slides to like everybody because I'm just so amazed. These look so good. A lot of you put a lot of work into it. Um, like visually, a lot of yours look great, incredible. So pat yourselves on the back because that is like a big proud teacher moment. So that is very, very cool. I did email the ones who did not, um, who either did not get started on your research project or who has not um, touched it really. It tells me the last time, sorry, this fan's backing up. Cool, we're good. Um, it tells me on the document when I open it up the last time that you were on it. So let's see if I click on one. Um, this one says that um, Alexa was on there yesterday at 12.54 p.m., so about a day ago. Um, if I pull up 
let me see, I'll pull up Veronica's. And it tells me at the top the last time that she was on here or if she's currently on here. So um, it says last edit was made at 12.38 p.m. by Veronica yesterday. And it says that she is currently on her slide now. So I have all that information pulled up on mine because um, I'm able to tell when you are working on it, when the last time you did work on it, or if you currently are working on it, okay? Um, I would say today, try to get it done today. Um, technically it's not due till tomorrow, but I'm seeing if I have anybody who would like to present there tomorrow on Zoom um, in front of the class. So I might have that open for tomorrow. Only if your presentation is done and only if um, you get it approved through me, okay? So if you feel like you're done, I would go back and check all of the information that you have on each slide. So if you have just like one sentence per slide, you need more. You need a lot more to that, okay? If it looks very plain, um, I would suggest adding some pictures. Pictures are a nice visual tool to add into a presentation. Um, so I would add some of those things into your presentation, um, especially for today. Just try to play around with it, okay? If you would like me to check over it, you can email me and I can go through them, but I'm already going to do that anyway. So um, like I have Jordan's open up right now. Jordan, I would suggest you have a lot of good information. I can just see this now. Um, Jordan, I would suggest adding more visuals to it, adding more pictures to it. And let me tell you how to do that. If you have your slides open right now, um, you're able to follow, follow along with me. So those who have your slides open, go up to the top left and push that fourth button over. It says inserts. So click inserts and then click image. And then when you put your mouse over image, it says to search the web. So if you click that and click search the web, um, it should pop up off to the side, Google images. So you could type in there what kind of pictures that you want to add and um, paste them onto your slides. So um, like I can already tell right now, a lot of you who add a lot of visuals, uh, Veronica, Stephanie, I think that you two are like in first place with all the visuals right now. Angel, you are up there as well. They look great. Um, I I don't know. I think you guys just knocked this out of the ballpark. And I even said that comment to some of you um, because a lot of you put a lot of work and effort into this. And it looks like they look fantastic. Um, so, okay, your goal today is try to get it done. Um, technically, it's not due till tomorrow, but try to have that mindset of, okay, let's try to get it done today. If you feel like you're done, you need to go back and check everything in your slides, okay? Because um, if you do present tomorrow, I want you to uh, be comfortable with it, know what is on each slide. Um, and so I want you to check over everything, make sure it makes sense, uh, make sure that you're able to say everything. And yeah. Add any visuals if you need to, if it looks good, okay? I will be sending emails again this hour for those who um, have a lot of work that they need to do and just need to catch up. Um, if you have any questions about any of this, please, please, please email me. Um, let me know, hey, Miss Lucas, I don't really understand this. Can we do a video conference so you can show me how to do it? Perfect. I would respond right away and say, yes, I would love to do that, okay? Please use me as your tool right now, okay? Everything is online. I'm not there to stand beside you to tell you what to do, but we can use the tools in order to help you be successful. So try to email me if you have any help uh, or if you have any questions, if you need any help, um, email me and I would love to walk through that process with you, okay? So again, this hour, I will be checking over your presentations. Um, I will be sending emails, so please check your email constantly, okay? Check your email, have that tab open, like have a tab open with your email on it. I do all the time, so I can check my email right away, okay? All right, um, any other last minute questions? I will stay live for um, until I think everyone is done asking. Um, but again, oh, 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 one more thing, one more thing. If you see... Mr. Kim, Ms. Fenton, or Ms. Gilbreth, you need to check in with them daily, okay? I would say around 11 o'clock every day, you need to check in with them daily, okay? Also, 
Ms. Breslin and I have been talking and she says that not all of you have been logging on to her uh, classroom for two o'clock science time, okay? Science is at two o'clock. You need to enter her classroom at two o'clock, maybe even at like two minutes before two o'clock, 158, and just be prepared, okay? She has assignments as well. You need to complete them. There is not that many, okay? But you still need to check in with her. Um, specials are at three o'clock. I have the schedule of your specials onto Google Classroom at the very top. And today you do have character education, so you will need to go to character ed today at three o'clock, okay? Write down these scheduled times, whatever you can at home to have a physical copy in front of you. Um, do what you can to help yourself be successful, okay? There's honestly so much I can do right now. Um, if I could do all, um, I know it might feel stressful, um, but it will be a lot more stressful if you ignore it and just don't do it. I promise you, it's going to be a lot more stressful if you do that. Okay. So, um, you absolutely have to, yes, ma'am. Science at two o'clock every day and specials are at three. Like all of this online learning right now, it's not like, a, oh, it's an option. We're on vacation time right now. We're all relaxing at home. Mm -mm. This is not a vacation time. Okay. This is still fourth quarter, still school time. I'm still putting in grades for that, okay? Um, Veronica, I can, let me see. Let me type in her email here. I think you will. You guys also have her on Class Dojo, so I would check with that. Um, okay, so Ms. Breslin's email, let me type it in here. Okay, so if you guys have any questions, um, her email address, I just put it in the chat so you can email her about it, but you still need to check in with your special teachers daily. You need to check in with Ms. Fenton, Ms. Gilbreth, Mr. Kim, if you meet with those three daily, okay? They still have things for you as well, so just check in with them. They're not super long. They're not super huge, okay? You still need to check up with them, okay? All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and stop this live. If you have any questions, Email me, please. I will be checking all of your presentations during this time, making comments. Um, that was part of my question. Kira, what do you mean? Your question was, do we have to? And you weren't specific. I thought you were talking about what I've been talking about, your classes. And so I answered, yes, you do have to do all of that. Uh, but be more specific, please. Okay. Um, again, check your email. Check your email now. Check your email uh, at about 2.30. Um, keep checking your emails, okay? All right. Love and miss you all very, very much. You all are very smart and intelligent and very educated. Just try to keep up with your things, okay? All right. Love and miss you guys. I'll be watching your presentations. Bye-bye.